What's good, YouTube? I have a great day today. This is for my 12 views that watched my first day vlog. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And I hope y'all keep rocking with me. 12 views is big for me. Um, I know it's like, oh, wow, congratulations, your 12 views. But for me, that, that shows uh, a head in the right direction. It shows that starting this, step around my comfort zone, is going to bring a different level of growth. Yes, this video might flop and get zero fucking views, but it doesn't mean I'm going to stop. Hell the fuck. No, it doesn't. It does not mean I'm going to stop. So I appreciate you all, and welcome to day two of the lock. Today we're going to be doing chest and triceps. It's going to be a fun one. It's going to be an exciting one, and I can't wait to get this workout in. One thing for me is when I start chest, I usually start with a little um, incline bench. And then for incline bench, I'll go to dumbbell. But today I'm going to be going to planet uh, just because of time. Whenever I have like a time difference where I have to like do certain things, I go to planet fitness because it's literally five minutes away from my house. I could literally walk to it if I wanted to. Um, but usually I would go to gold to do chest. But today we're going to be going to planet. And then tomorrow we're going to be doing legs. Legs is when I go crazy. Y'all need to stay tuned for legs. Legs, I demolish legs. For me, like, let me give you an example, right? My leg, the high I started is a five by 10. So first set's 135, second set's 225, third set's 315 for 10, and then last two sets, 315 for 10, 315 for 10. And it's a non-negotiable. You have to get 315 for 10. So stay tuned for that because sometimes it kicks my ass and I only get eight out of 10, but at the end of the day, you gotta push yourself, you gotta push your limits, you gotta push this mindset, you gotta push you so you can elevate and get better. But yeah, let's get this day going. Hope you guys enjoy. I don't care how much money you oh, make from this shit. Wait, I ain't choice. selling my soul Would like this, bro. And you, bro, the thing is, people watch this shit. Mm, what are you doing? Before going to the gym, I like to get my own attachments in my own home gym. I used to train clients in here. I'm out trade clients one on one in here, and I built my like my first business, like like my first in person um, personal training business right in right in the garage. Um, so that everything was really nice, it really worked out well for me. Um, and now just transitioning to online, and online is a lot more powerful. It gives me the freedom to do a lot more when it comes to the students versus here. I only see them twice a day, and sometimes I mean not twice a day, twice a week, and sometimes certain things can happen within the week that I don't know about. And when you do online. It's easy to say, hey, coach, I'm struggling with this today. And you get the feedback and value that you need to be able to move forward as well as accomplish your next goal or accomplish what you want to accomplish. Uh, but yeah, so just get me get these. We're about to hit the gym. I bring my own attachments and everything because I like to be quick and easy and simple. But before heading out, let's check on the chickens. I don't know why, but my chicken coop is open. It shouldn't be open. And the little side door should be open. What up, gang? How y'all doing? Hey, back up, back up, back up, back up. Hey, hey, back up, back up, back up. Yay. Yeah. What you looking for? Get up, get up. Back up. Back up. Back up, back up, back up. Yeah. What's going on here? Hey. This. Is this open? Two eggs. I'm gonna pick those up later. That open. Ugh. There we go. Yeah, I got chickens, guys. Shut up. They're like they're trying to peek out. I don't know why they're trying to peek out for. Try to boy. Yeah, you got virgin. Ugh. And you push them up. Ha <laughs> ha, gotcha. Ha <laughs> gotcha. Instead of starting with the Smith Machine incline, I actually started with the dumbbell incline bench um, because all the Smith Machines were taken and one of them was broken. So I just said, okay, cool. There's a bench available. Let me start with this. Get some blood flow going in the chest. Get myself warmed up and just start the workout. <sighs> One thing is, when I work out at Planet, I actually start with the 75s. Just because I have a rule for myself, when it comes to a certain amount of weight, I don't like going backwards. Um, so I warm up a 75, and then from there on, I just progressively go up. My way of going up, you guys will see, is utilizing bands to increase the tension, which is gonna therefore increase the intensity, and also give me a really good pump to start the workout. Really, 75s is just like baby play. 75s become too light for you? Use bands. Add extra resistance, especially Bands don't play, they just pull you down the entire time. Let's do it.
That was like the first hard set. Now we're gonna start. So the way I do flat bench is a little different than anybody else's. The way I like to do is I actually like to start with two plates and I like to do drop sets. So this is going to be four sets of, well, four drop sets. We start with two plates, we go for six to 10, and then once we go for six to 10, we drop it to one plate and we finish it off for as many as we can with that one plate. This is to maximize blood flow in the chest and really give you a nice fucking pump. Like for me, when I do chest, I don't go heavy. I just go for a constant volume as well as constant tempo to really maximize growth for my chest. My phone. After you fail, start where you finish. The one thing I love about this machine is I can fail, drop it all the way down, and leave it where it's at, and then pick it right back up. So start where you finish. Ooh -wee. Start where you finish. Start. Like I was saying earlier, lately I've been feeling stupid strong. I think it's just the consistency of things. And over time, certain amount of weight, certain amount of intensity, your body gets used to it. And I love when that happens. But hey, this might humble me. So I mean, I get ahead of myself. In my phone. Now going to the second set, or now realizing. Um, even from the first time. Um, but going into the second set, I got six this time. Um, but sometimes I actually like to pause for a few seconds, catch my breath, and finish the last four, especially if I'm not That's what I really like to do, especially if you want to really max out in the certain area. I say always oh, push yourself in the moments. And for me, I love to push one on my limits. We'll so for me, six. as soon as I take some breath, we'll 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 a little bit more. We just go for a one few thing is, your body needs to get used to the first plate, and then we can push a little bit more. A little bit heavier. Alright, time to lock in. Then go this workout with some good blood flow in your chest. Let's see. Start where you finish. First time. Oh, shit. See, there's one thing I like about Smith Machine, is you put yourself in the right angle, all you're gonna feel is tension. I'm not going to lie, this third set really fucking humbled me. I only got four, and one thing after that, I just dropped, I just dropped set it right after. That, that shit was tough. <laughs> that shit was tough. After this, usually what I do is drop the weight. I'm gonna say 225, and I can only get like four, I might get cool. 
I can only get forward and I'm gonna go back down to 205 just so I can wrap it out, get a good range of motion, really get a good pump, as well as maximize my volume. thing I like to do with this is stand up tall, both feet together, chest up, and you want to keep a slight bend in your elbows, squeeze through. Your main indicator when you're doing this, right, is when you feel a stretch right here. You feel a stretch in your chest, squeeze through that. Your full range of motion. Act like you're clapping out in front of you. When I'm doing this, my main goal is just to maximize both of my chest, really get a nice full stretch, get a nice squeeze, and making sure I really get a nice, nice, fulfilling pump. This is one thing I love with chest flies, is after a few exercises, your chest is warmed up. This is where you want to go all in and just destroy your chest, man. This is where you can really maximize both, maximize your pump, and just maximize your chest while doing that workout. And I like to do drop sets in my last two sets. So my first two sets are like two sets of like 16, 20 reps. And in my last two, I like to do two sets of two drop sets. So I'll start at 30, go to 25, go to 20, go to 10. All the time. So I to get the most out of the chest. <sighs> It hurts like a bitch. Trust me, the last one is way better than the first five. It's here, I'm gonna do that some more. Like, one thing is, the one to eight rub gap, that's when you're just getting done. The last four, brutal. Those are the ones you want. Push through the blue ones. That's gonna give you more growth. That's where people go wrong. You think, oh, I did eight. It's okay. No, bitch. Go for four more. What the fuck? If you wanted that enough, you might be able to struggle. She ain't gonna come easy.
Every guy needs an exercise in their routine. If you don't have dips, or you can't do dips, work your way up to it. Use this machine exactly to work your way up to it. And don't be afraid to use a fucking assisted. I hate when guys are like, oh, you're using assisted. It means you're weak. No, bitch. Hell no. It means I want to get better at the fuck. That's all it means. We're going to do a drop set with this. Go for 12 and drop it right away. I love the assisted. You could superset dips, you could superset pull ups, you could drop it all. Don't listen to anybody that tells you you don't need to use it. to your physique, this is your favorite machine in gym. See, I have clients all the time tell me they're afraid to come into the gym. The easiest thing, well, the easiest way to think of the gym is like a new job. When you first started, you were nervous. You didn't know what you would expect. You didn't know what you were going to do. You didn't know your position. Well, you knew your position, but you didn't know what it was all about. It's the same thing in the gym. You know what you want to do. You know what you want to get to. Now it's a matter of coming in here, stepping out of your comfort zone like you did on your job. You put your one foot in. You got your first few hours in. You got comfortable, you got used to it. It's the same way at the gym. You'll get comfortable, you'll get used to it. Like don't let your fear stop you from pursuing towards your goal. Like that's the worst thing you can do. You're just letting the fear win at that point. I know people who do that for years and years and years. Crack the code now. exercises that I did, um, nothing too crazy, just getting some blood on the muscle, really utilizing my full range of motion, and then just squeezing through. But I've got some hacks for you guys in this one. It's not even exciting anymore when you get like a little bit solid change. Like I can get leaner and be like, eh, I still look nasty. Like body dysmorphia is a real thing. Especially the bigger you get, the leaner you get. Sometimes you don't even think you're moving forward or getting better. It fucks with your head. That's how you gotta keep showing up. That's how you defeat that shit. 
It's a real thing. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm gonna teach you guys a little hack. When you're doing tricep extensions, biggest hack is when you're holding it, right? Don't hold it like this. Cause especially when you go heavy, it's gonna be hard to control your wrist. So hold it this way, meaning overlap it like this. That's gonna give you more control. Keep your elbows in and you press with the meat of your hand right here. You're gonna get a lot more power, a lot more control, as well as your mind to muscle connection is gonna be enhanced doing that. Because when you're doing it this way, you're just focusing on trying to keep your fucking wrist straight. So overlap that bitch, elbows in, boom. Now I don't have to worry about my wrist. All I need to focus on is my triceps. Make sure I'm utilizing everything through my full range of motion. Coming up, elbows one spot, squeezing down. Coming up, elbows one spot, squeezing down. Hope you guys enjoyed this chest workout. It was a quick one. It, was, it wasn't too extreme. There's one thing that's always gonna happen is throughout the week, you're always gonna have like that one workout. It's like mid and the rest of your workouts are just fire. Yesterday, my leg workout was fire. Actually, no, no, my back workout was fire. I hit a deadlift PR. But today my chest was mid, and tomorrow I bet my leg day is about to be fucking crazy. Especially I'm about to do some squats, it's gonna be fucking nuts. I love me some squats, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy this one. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay beautiful, stay blessed. Remember, get 1% better each day. That's all it is. Stop trying to be perfect. Aim just to be better each fucking day, man. And stop comparing yourself. Even though I'm, I am where I am now, doesn't mean you gotta compare yourself to me. It took me years to get to this shit. Naturally, hard work through dedication, you'll be able to get there. Now just show up for yourself. Doesn't matter how you feel every fucking day. Keep that consistency going, build discipline, build that iron mindset, and you'll be fucking unstoppable. That being said, stay beautiful, stay blessed. Peace.